Nellie Bly was a feminist writer who wrote about the social issues that affected women, to shock, to inform and to persuade. Her piece, Ten Days in a Madhouse, was when she went into a madhouse herself, pretended to be a victim there, a patient, and she actually wrote about the conditions inside it, and her role was really to inform readers about the horrific conditions. In the madhouse, she was handled roughly and treated as subhuman by the staff who didn't care for her basic and medical needs. She found them dismissive and patronising. There were some attempts by some staff members to keep patients calm, which gave a bit of balance to the piece, and I suppose there was a bit of hierarchy between the medical staff. Some were had quite poor pay, for example. Not all the patients there seemed insane, and she felt the asylum wasn't doing its job properly in terms of who they were letting in and who they were letting out. The staff seemed a bit impatient, doctors were of low quality. Doctors were actually rude to patients, and she found the... In- Interrogations patronising. The food was awful, it was gruel, broth and bread, no heating, just terrible conditions which she said was enough to make you go mad.